Hey guys, it's Karen. Welcome back. I hope you're doing well. I know it's been a minute before since I last made a video. Uh, it's just been very busy and uh, a week ago my oldest daughter flew down and was uh, here for a week and then my her and my youngest daughter that lives here we went to a concert in Nashville at the Pepsi Mold and we just had the greatest time. So uh, anyway, it's just been busy and I uh, want to come on today and just talk to you about what I eat to stay thin at 69 years of age. I turned 69 in July and so I was just going to um, give you some um, pointers on what I do. Uh, I'm in no way a nutritionist or... Um, uh, doctor or anything so you know just make sure you talk to your doctor but I'm gonna share what works for me and I am going to uh, just give you a little rundown on uh, what I do and uh, I hope you enjoy so um, well first of all I don't diet I I've really never have dieted I'm not a keto person I may um, buy something that's keto related uh i can't do carnival because i do not like meat um definitely can't stand steak ever since i was a little kid i could never ugh. and so i do like hamburger but it has to be like in a casserole or just a hamburger you know that you get um you know but it has to have a lot of stuff on it um yeah our pizza you know hamburger on pizza all that jazz but yeah i could never do carn carnivore it just seems too strict and what works for me is just not being on a diet so i want to say it was um probably when i was in my late 30s early 40s i decided um i just loved reading up on health and vitamins and um, books like um, i'd always buy something and i just um, really enjoyed it and so uh, i think that helped me out a lot you know figuring out what works for my body and uh, like i said everybody's body is different but uh yeah so uh i want to say that i i just started reading up on health in my late 30s or 40s and i um you know always was into doing some form of exercise i remember doing the cindy crawford video uh, workout um, that was years ago but i i always made sure i did some form of exercise and so um, now as I have gotten older, I really realize how important it is, you know, our health and eating and, you know, we don't need to eat as much as we get older. And, uh, and we also don't have the metabolism we used to have. And so I, um, you know, I just kind of listen to my body. That, that's what I have to do. And so, like i'll just let's just say i get up in the morning you know i'll have a cup of coffee and i might put some creamer in it um i don't always but sometimes that that's like a fills me up until lunch you know uh, but you know if i'm not hungry and i'm not a big breakfast eater anyway i never was but if i'm craving something i'll have maybe a um, slice of toast and this is um keto bread one gram net carb, 35 calories. Uh, I'll just toast it and put some butter and apricot jelly. I love apricot jelly. and Or I'll put peanut butter on it. And that will, um, you know, hold me over until lunch. Um, but sometimes I won't even have, have that, you know. But I always, um, it's always what my body is craving. Um, sometimes... Um, it'll just crave a little Debbie donut stick. Now, how many people say that on these kind of videos? <laughs> Only me. But, um, yeah, so I'll have one. Um, I don't feel guilty. Uh, it's, 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 it's listening to your body. And it's like, 
um, making sure, you know, it's not like you're going to eat the whole box or the whole um, six pack of donuts or whatever. It's just having that one um, sweet and, and I'll be fine. And I might not crave one for maybe um, a few days or a week, you know. But uh, that's just how I roll. And so I'm all, I've always been a salad person at lunch. I love my salads. Um, usually a half of avocado I'll eat a day. I love it, um, whether it be guacamole or just a half a cup. I mean, a half of avocado on top of my salad. And I always have veggies. Uh, I made a little video. I'll put that in here somewhere. But I have my vegetables, um, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, uh, whatever. I always have grapes on hand. Uh, and, you know, I just fill the salad up with uh, the veggies and uh sprinkle maybe some walnuts on top and sometimes I'll put um, cranberry raisins on top. Uh, one thing I do not do is I do not uh, I do not do the healthy dressing. <laughs> that just doesn't work for me. I have to have my thousand island. And so um, but I don't use a lot of it. It's just that I need um, that flavor um, on my salad. So, uh, so that's where, you know, I, I don't follow the rules, you know, and then, um, you know, if, if through the day I'm craving something, um, you know, I, I might have, um, some walnuts or some form of peanuts. Um, like this morning, I just wasn't um, that hungry and I have a hair appointment at 1.30. I'm going to get a trim. So I, I probably won't even have a lunch. I, I think it was about 11 o'clock. I ate, I sliced up an apple and had some walnuts with it. So I, right now I'm filled up. I'm not even hungry. But even if it's lunchtime, which I try to eat between 1 and 2.30, um, if I'm not hungry, I just won't have a lunch, uh, you know, just because it's lunchtime or whatever doesn't mean, well, I have to eat something, you know, I just listen to my body. And so that's what works for me. And I also had to show you these uh, mission cards. Um, they're small tortilla cards, I mean, <laughs> small tortillas. And I uh, slice these up like a pizza, maybe two of them, and I put them on a paper plate. And then I spread some olive oil on top with some uh, sea salt or cayenne pepper, whatever you want to use, and put them in the microwave, 45 to 50 seconds. And they are good with my salads. Uh, you know, I can dip my avocado on top of them, everything. But basically, I, I'm just not a strict person. I just listen to my body, and when it wants something that probably isn't nice to have, I'll just have a small portion of it. And uh, I'm not somebody that is going to force my body into a size 2-4 just to be stick thin or anorexia type look. Um, because at my age, if I would do that, I would look a lot older and people might know who I was. And, uh, and I don't want my skin to be crepey looking and uh, you know, that's just not good and it's not healthy and my body would be very, very unhappy with me and I wouldn't be very happy. So, uh, you know, it's just, um, for me, it's just portion control, listening to my body. And so I'm going to come back. I, I have to go to a hair appointment, but um, I'll be back and finish this video. Okay, so uh, this is what I like to do. I love cucumbers. Uh, I put them, you know, I get home from the grocery and I peel them and cut them and put them in one of these uh, plastic containers. They're so good. They're uh, if you just want a snack, they're great to just snack on, you know, dip them in a little bit of salt or dip them in a, um, 
Well, I like to mix uh, Faye with um, onion soup. Um, just one minute. Okay, this Lipton onion recipe soup mix, what I do is I just, um, I don't use the whole packet. I just put a very small amount into a little bit of the Faye yogurt and it makes such a great dip for um, veggies and chips. Um, and I also like to have bell peppers on hand, red and yellow. Uh, carrots are always here. Uh, Chloe loves them. And um, celery. I, I don't hear min, my, many people talk about celery. Um, it has so many, many health benefits. Uh, actually, uh, it is rich in calcium. Uh, it is uh, so rich in calcium, sodium, zinc, magnesium, iron, and potassium, and copper. It also reduces inflammation, and it prevents cancer by removing free radicals, and it also regulates blood pressure. So if you are somebody that has trouble with high blood pressure, um, I heard this a few years ago, a uh, doctor, somebody was saying, if you eat three stocks a day, it really, really it regulates your blood pressure and lowers it. So I just had to kind of uh, talk to you about that. Okay, so this is what the, um, the mission carbs look like after I slice them and I put some olive oil and seasoning on top and about 45 to 60 seconds in the microwave. Uh, they're really good with um, just with your salad or avocado, guacamole on top. Uh, another thing I do is I buy my cheese, um, the great value, and they're already sliced. And if I just get that urge, hunger urge, um, I, I will grab some of those. And if you, if you have a chocolate craving, these are really good. Um, they're acai and blueberry, Brookside dark chocolate. You know, just grab, you know, just, uh, you know, just a few of them. You don't want to overdo on that, but it really, really will satisfy your chocolate craving. Okay, guys, I just got back from my hair trim, and I wanted to get this video done today. I inserted um, right before this um, a little video of my veggies and uh, also a picture of the tortilla chips that I was talking about. You know, I just cut them, the mission, little mission uh, tortilla um, tacos or whatever you call them. And um, just cut them and I put them on a paper plate. I just spread some olive oil and sprinkle it with a sea salt and cayenne pepper. And you can use whatever you want. Uh, and you don't have to even use olive oil, but I had to get, make them a little bit tasty. So uh, before I end, I also want to talk to you about, uh, it's also important to do some form of um, weight training. And I have, um, I use 10 pound weights. I have a set of um, arm exercises I do at least every other day. Uh, and I will link that video below. And because um, it's very important because as we get older, we lose estrogen and our bone density uh, drops. So I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll see you next time. Love you.